Hey guys, this is Charles with Premium B. In this video, we're gonna do a lightning round of 10 After Effects plugins, scripts, and presets that are underrated, at least in my opinion. These are some effects that I find myself using quite often. Some of them create cool effects, others are more utility and will improve your workflow. A few of these effects are even free, and we're gonna have some freebies of our own at the end of this video as well. Spoiler alert, it's going to be a roundup of some awesome free After Effects presets. All right guys, I'll have links where you can find all these effects on the Premium Beat blog post. The link for that will be in the description. Let's go ahead and get started. The first plugin is Diopter, which makes it really easy to create different optical effects. You can quickly emulate lens effects like a tilt shift, macro, or even ghosting effects on your footage. The plugin offers a ton of presets to choose from, and it's easy to pinpoint where you want the lens effects to occur with position markers. Diopter also works great on text and title cards to make them more visually interesting. Next is Crossphere Bokeh, which is a lens blur plugin that creates some of the best looking bokeh effects you're gonna see. It also renders light years faster than the native lens blur effect built into After Effects. I use it a lot to add realistic rack focus effects to my shots. You also have a ton of options for customizing the bokeh, and you can even use layers to create your own custom bokeh shapes. Next is Neat Video, which is a denoising plugin that I've been using for years. And this is just a simple plugin that works really well. You just highlight an area of your footage that has a lot of noise and Neat Video will automatically create a noise profile that filters out the noise. I also like it because it just retains so much image detail while it still removes the noise pattern. A lot of other plugins tend to muddy up some of the fine details when the noise gets filtered out and that's just not the case with Neat Video. The next plugin is Textbox 2 from Plugin Everything, which is an awesome plugin that helps you create boxes and shapes behind your text. It has a lot of smart features and automatically updates when you change the text. You can tell that a lot of thought went into all the different settings and customizations they added into this one. Next is GIF Gun, which is a script that allows you to export GIF animations from After Effects in one click. Now you may have heard of GIF Gun before, but I can't emphasize enough just how much time this script will save you. I was even hesitant to pick this up at first because I was just used to exporting all of my GIFs out of Photoshop. But not only is it faster than exporting GIFs from Photoshop, it compresses the file sizes better and they look better. It also has plenty of GIF export settings you can customize if you need that as well. Next is Dojo Orbit from Creative Dojo. This script allows you to easily arrange layers in a circular formation and then animate them. If you've ever tried to make objects orbit around each other in After Effects, you know how much of a pain this can be to set up and link all the different layers together. This script simplifies all of that. It has three different orbit modes and easy to use controllers. And if you like Dojo Orbit, definitely check out the other scripts available on Creative Dojo. Many of them will vastly speed up your workflow in After Effects. Next is a free plugin from Video Copilot called Color Vibrance, which is a handy colorization plugin. Out of all the awesome free plugins from Video Copilot, this one's actually the one I probably use the most day to day. The color results you get from are almost always pleasing to the eye, and it's great for colorizing stock elements. It also makes it easy to add an alpha channel to a layer using the matte alpha option. Next is a free plugin from Plugin Everything called FXAA, which stands for Fast Approximate Anti-Aliasing, which can help remove the jagged edges or stair-stepping edges you might encounter on low resolution images, logos, or CG renders. It's just a nice plugin to keep in mind and try anytime you see some distracting jagged edges. Give it a try and you'll probably get some nice results. Next is a very simple script called Decompose Text, which allows you to break up text layers into individual characters with one click. This makes it so much easier if you need to animate characters of a word individually, and it's already gonna have them laid out and set up in the right position for you. You can also break up a text layer by word or by text line if that's needed as well. Again, really simple, but gonna save you a lot of time, and I've been using this one for years. Finally, we have the free After Effects presets that are on Premium Beat. These allow you to easily create effects like a watercolor painting, 8-bit video game, VHS effects, and a lime boil effect. Now we do have tutorials on creating each of these presets, but if you just wanna hurry up and start using them, you can quickly download all four presets from the project file that will be on the blog post. Check for the link in the description. Just drag and drop them into your user presets folder to install them, and then drag and drop them to apply them. You're drag and dropping them on the video right now, aren't you? I knew it. All right guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Be sure to check out the other videos we have on the Premium Beat channel. I recently did one covering 10 different glitch plugins and After Effects. So check that one out if you haven't and we will catch you guys on the next one.